YouTube, this is your boy Chadia, and I'm here today to talk about the new Hunter Hunter chapter. You see, I actually wasn't planning on doing this today just because of um, the fact that yesterday I already done a video and all that, so it was just like, eh. But you know what? I just This chapter was so surprising for me today and so awesome just because it's been so long since I've read Hunter Hunter. I have to talk about it. I have no choice but to. So, if you haven't noticed, there's music playing in the background because, you know, I don't know, it just felt kind of boring with nothing playing in the background. And if you know the music, leave a comment of what it is. But anyways, on to the Hunter Hunter chapter today. So today, Hunter Hunter chapter 341, let's talk about it. Now, where we last left off was when, when um, the guy who looked like Netero was talking about going to the Dark Continent, which is basically Hunter Hunter's version of the New World, which... You know, now that you think about it, a lot of mangas are doing that today, these, day, these days. You have One Piece doing it. Hunter Hunter doing it, Toriko doing it. I think there's another one doing it, but I can't think of it right now. Um, anyways, but so the, basically this entire chapter is them hyping up the dark continent. That's what it is. That it's basically hype. This chapter is hype. That, that's pretty much it. it. Nothing special really happens, but it's just that I'm happy to see Hunter Hunter back. So I got to talk about it. Um, so for starters, um, you start off with these two guys, I forget their names, but um, they're in this building that's basically done for researching the, um, you know, the dark continent and the things found there because there've been other expeditions done there. And some weird things happened to the people who went to the dark continent, or at least I got the impression that those are the people that went to the dark continent from what I remember. Um, so, do, do you have people literally like tied up like hair strings like legit like you know how people have like their hairs and ponytails that that's what people were literally their entire bodies were just that and that to me was like what what the hell happened here and then he, the the uh, the, uh, the little short fat guy gives this uh, uh, the other guy with them this book and tells him to read up on it and this is the history of the dark continent and what he what that guy finds in this book is crazy they released all kinds of hell on the earth just from going into the dark continent. I don't even think they got that far. Netero himself mentioned how he, and that I think that was the biggest reveal was that Netero himself actually did enter the dark continent. Cause I knew, you know, I don't think any of us ever knew that. Um, I mean, I guess you could have figured, but, and how he mentions that, you know, he wanted to find a strength there that he found, but in a different way because he wanted to fight a, an opponent but his opponent turned out to be nature. So that I guess that alludes to how uh, crazy the, the natural effects of the world are there. And he was basically, Netero basically left a, um, a command for the hunter, hunt, the hunter, uh, what is it called? Crap, it's been, that's how long it's been, is that I don't even remember the name, the Hunter Association, thank you. Um, the Hunter Association to basically go and beat his son, apparently, because apparently he had a son before he died, um, which is the guy who looks just like him. But to beat his son in in the dark continent, basically, to he wants the Hunter Association to be the first ones to fully explore and have expeditions there. And, you know, the son, you know, they're arguing about whether they should do it and who should lead the expedition. And then someone mentions game. So, we might be able to expect him to do it, but, and then someone, the, the, the son calls the Hunter Association and says, he says he, he surpassed his father. And I'm trying to figure out what it, he means by that. Did he, does that mean that he has gone deeper into the dark continent? I'm not sure, but uh, then when, at the end of the chapter, we find out that when they, the guy who was reading the book, he finds out that when they went into the dark continent, they released the what was it, the five calamities, which is like this headless, this two uh tailed snake, the, these like freaking gas creatures, this other freaking spearhead, kind of like the pyramid, the pyramid head guys from uh Silent Hill, except you know, it was a spear. But um then there was another there was a few others, like these little entropic creatures that eat humans but give them pleasure at the same time. And, and then there was another thing, another big, big thing that happened in the chapter was that there's a disease that gives you immortality, but they say it's not as good as it sounds. And when you see a guy with the disease, he looks 
strange. Like he doesn't look con- like conscious. He's like not there anymore mentally or like, maybe not even spiritually. Who knows? And, you know, all of this leads me to think like this could lead this leads into some deep speculation about what's going to happen in the dark continent. I mean, let's think about this here. The chimera ants came from the dark continent. These dudes literally raped. <laughs> they, they, no one could stop them, not even the chairman who was supposed to be one of the most powerful NIN users in the world, because I remember him saying he's not the most powerful anymore, but not even the most powerful NIN user in the world at the time could stop the chimera ants, the, the, at least their king. I don't know if he could have beaten the other ones, which I doubt he could have, but who knows. Um, and that's a scary thought, because who knows where the chimera ants are in the tiers of the Dark Continent's world. Like, they could be low tier. Imagine if they were low tier. God knows what the high tier could do. So th- this definitely leads a lot to think about when it comes to the Dark Continent. And you know, I did want to kind of see Gone and Killua in this because, you know, it's been two years. It's been two years since a Hunter Hunter chapter came out. And, you know, I haven't really been watching the anime. I've like looked at bits and pieces of the fights here and there, like the uh, the latest Gone versus P2. But I haven't really watched the anime because I haven't really been wanting to watch anime as of late because like, I don't know, just anime has been off for me lately. Um, uh, so I, I haven't been reading Hunter Hunter for like a while now or watching anything dealing with it for quite some time. And, you know, I, I definitely wanted to see Gone and Killua to see what's going on with them. But they, they have to train before they go into the dark. I, I don't even think they they need like a 10 year time skip before they're ready to go in there. I don't even know if that's enough, but they need some time before they won't even think about stepping into the dark content because this is this is the big boys world now. And the big boy's world is no joke. I mean, look at what Gone had to do to beat P2. He had to literally sacrifice his whole future just to beat P2. I mean, he did have the power of the king. Don't get me wrong. So he could probably, he probably could have taken the king. But you get the point. Like, he can't just keep doing that. And then they have Killua's younger sister heal him. They, they can't just keep doing that. So there's going to have to be some some sort of power boost within Gone and Killua if they're going to survive this. Um, yeah, it, I, I'm definitely, I don't know about you guys, but I'm definitely happy to see Hunter Hunter back. I thought it was a good chapter. I mean, nothing like it crazy exciting happened, but it, it was good enough to where it's like, okay, we're getting back in the, the swing of things. So I look forward to the next chapter, which I think should be coming out next week. Oh, and another thing, Togashi's uh, artwork has leveled up. I don't know if it was just me, but I, I felt like he he been he'd been practicing. He wasn't just playing Dragon Quest. He wasn't just RPG in and out on porno. He he was he he actually practices drawing a bit, and that's it's good to see him increase his abilities. So all in all, I thought it was a good chapter. Uh, tell me what you guys thought. I mean, this is not. Let me put it to you this way: this is not a review. This is just you know thoughts and opinions and all that. And sorry if this wasn't the most informative thing, but usually when I read chapters, especially today, I just skim through it. So I don't. If I forgot any important important pieces of information, just let me know. Um, yeah, I thought it was a good chapter. So I'll catch you guys later. Uh, peace out, anime and manga community.